are back. You are listening to Powerful Women Reveals. My guest is Tara Menard, and you can go to taramenard.com for more information. Oh my God, I, I found that song. I'm like, she is adorable. I'm not even crazy about her newest music that's out right now, but I love her, mm -hmm. and I love that song, and I love the Wrecking Ball song. Yes. That my son um, did Wrecking Ball as his costume for Halloween one time. Yeah, he just had a Barbie doll hanging mm -hmm. off of him. Oh, awesome. <laughs> it's really funny. Very creative. Now, in the last segment, I forgot to mention, I love this saying that you have, um, focus goes where energy flows. Where did you come up with that? Or you don't remember? Is it I'm, from? I'm, I'm sure it's Tony one of, yeah. or Bob Proctor, one of those. Yes. Because one of the ones I love is, and I love yours um, or whoever it belongs to, I love energy follows intention. Mm -hmm. And it really is all about energy. So if your energy is flowing towards negativity, that's where your focus is going to be, Absolutely. is ultimately it. Okay. Now, um, oh, where, where was I? Okay. So we're all about the six week program. Yeah. So you have w a weekly intentions group, yes, which is different from the program. Is that it right? Is. Yes. How is that? How is that different? So I have a weekly intentions group on Facebook. Um, and what's the Facebook address? It is, it is the, f um, so I have Tara Menard coaching. That's mm -hmm. my Facebook address. And I also have the weekly intentions group, and that's what it's called, the weekly intentions group oh, on Facebook. Oh, okay. Period. Mm -hmm. Simple. All yeah. right. So and there's another one on Facebook, too, isn't there? No, you just have the one group. I have I have that one group. Okay. All right. And then, so your six-week accountability program, what is that? So the six-week accountabil accountability program is just meeting once a month. For anybody who wants to have some accountability for whatever goals they may be setting just to keep them on track. And that's kind of similar to what the weekly intentions is. Weekly intentions, I often um, teach them strategies. Um, I teach them what is called Tony's RPM method. Um, I teach that to help what them. What is RPM? Keep on, that's a rapid planning method. Oh, okay. Um, that's just to help with projects or strategize your week so that it's more productive and more fulfilling. Filling. So instead of having a to-do list, mm. I help you organize so that you're moving toward your goals and your outcomes. And you want to do yes. what's on the list. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So it's not necessarily about washing dishes. It's mm. about what's going to get you to the to the outcomes and the goals that you desire. Mm. Now tell me about brain dumping. So brain dumping is something that I use in my programs. And it's just about going into um, like setting an intention before you start, maybe going quiet, silent mm -hmm. for a minute. And then whatever the question may be, if it's like creating a vision for something that you want to create in your life, then we just start to brain dump. And you just, whatever comes to mind, you're just putting it out on paper, you're typing it, whatever works for you without a filter. Mm -hmm. You just let it all flow. It's a, it's a powerful it's, thing to write with pen to paper yes. and write and set a timer. It's, so uh, yes. do you, one minute, five minutes, ten minutes, whatever. I would, depending on what it is that we're going through, I would say at least five minutes mm. can be really great, and you'll be amazed by what comes out because at first you're filtering. Mm. So after about a minute or so, you'll just start writing, and then you'll you'll go from one topic to the next, to the next, to the mm. next, and it's everything that's popping in your brain. Exactly. So you're just getting it out, mm. and then just let it flow. Okay. And now. Um, one of the things in the brain dumping is, well, there's a few things that you utilize or a few questions that mm -hmm. you ask, and one of them is what's been holding you back. Yes. And so is that happening during the brain dumping? Like you ask the questions and then we brain dump or yes. um, so, something like that? Right. So I may ask those certain questions. So as you're brain dumping, I'll ask you certain questions. Mm. And that is one. What do you believe that's been holding you back? And, and I just want you to write as fast as you possibly can and come see what comes up for you. Well, do people ever have, um, you know, um, stage fright? Yes. Because <laughs> I call that stage fright sometimes mm -hmm. where just you're you're blanking and yes. nothing's coming out. Um, wh how do you get them to let go? Just again, it's about creating that space mm. and letting them know this is for your, this can be to it's totally for your eyes only. Yeah. If you just say, okay, this is for my eyes only, then it gives yourself permission just to let it all out. And it's really like, what are you waiting for? Mm hmm. I mean, what are we all waiting for? There's you. There's no time to wait. Mm -hmm. That's one of my pet peeve words. Wait. Wait. I have two. Wait 
and what's the other one? <laughs> Unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> I wrote a blog about that, and I'm revealing the word right now. Um, <laughs> It, I, I don't want to ever attach myself to something that's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. So I can't tell you how many times I'll see an email that starts out unfortunately. unfortunately. <laughs> but in, in the waiting, it's like there's no, there's no, we only have the one life. Mm -hmm. And really, if you're going to have a breakthrough, if you want a breakthrough, if you have a, some people have um, a desire, a longing desire. Yes. And some people are not sure. So it's your, you're guiding them and helping them if they have one. I love it. We'll go back to this again, that you can help them create a brand new identity, yes. which that is fantastic. Mm -hmm. How often does that happen? I think, I don't, with, with your coaching, with my coaching. Well, if that's what they come for, yeah. then that's what we work on. So you set that intention. If yes. that, their intention is to create a new identity. Exactly. Then okay. that's what we do. I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I could actually come to the table saying that. <laughs> I think uh, for so some people are lost. Right, exactly. I'm not really lost. Exactly. And okay. some people just need to create an identity. It could be just say they need, wanted to go work on stage. Mm. or you know be a public speaker mm. maybe it's just creating an identity for that alter ego you know and I have to say um, younger people mm. I was definitely lost when I was in my teens and in my 20s I actually went to a college and I did a couple nights a couple years of night school and I said isn't there a form I can just fill out mm -hmm. can I just fill out a form I mean there's a book um, find your parachute or where's what color is your parachute mm -hmm. there's a, there's yes, a book. I'm like isn't there a form I can just fill out and then boom there's the answer Nicole you should be a radio talk show host yes. like <laughs> like I really I went and I asked them for this form and they were looking at me like I had three heads right so that's what I help mm. my clients do bring them through their vision what is it that they would like to really create for themselves mm. and who who or what do they want to self-identify with and then mm. we create that mm. and then it just changes your whole life wow and what who or what you want to identify with yeah that's really important too because mm -hmm. it's re really not just about us right because we're existing mm -hmm. with all these other people all right well we got two minutes before we have to go to break tell me about what is the this is the first time i've ever heard this before is researching you law of polarity and and give me an example okay so the law of polarity we all everything has um, the opposite, right? So if there is an inside, there is an outside. Mm. If there's an up, there's a down. I love this. So it's the polarity. positive, negative. Exactly. You know, you're a, a magnet. There's mm. a north, there's a south, mm. right? Okay. A law of polarity, when we're talking about relationships, we have to have relation in an intimate relationship. You want to have the polarity. We all have masculine and feminine energy within mm. us. And when we're out of balance, and we're with an intimate partner, and if we're not having that polarity, then we start to lose that passion for mm. each other. Okay. And that's when you know you start to have problems, and you know uh, the the man might be um, staying home taking care of the kids, so he's had a change in the masculine, feminine, and you know the wife or the significant uh, is going out being the breadwinner. So her feminine energy is shifted to the masculine. So mm -hmm. you need to know how to be able to play with the polarity within each other and for each other. Play with the polarity. You got to do a course on that. <laughs> Doesn't that sound good? All right. Well, we have to go to break. My guest is Tara Menard, and you can go to taramenard.com for more information. I hope you'll stay with us. I'm Nicole Perry, and you're listening to Powerful Women Revealed right here on 95.9 WATD. 